everybody and welcome back to magic ASMR and um, today I'd like to go over some of the cards that I drafted at the GP Vancouver it was this past weekend and although I would have liked it to have uh, stayed there longer, um, but I just was kind of busy, so I really wanted to spend the whole weekend there and to play a lot of maybe limited games and commander games and do a lot of trading, but I uh, didn't get the chance to. So let me go over some of the cards that I drafted and you can maybe learn from my mistakes. Um, in one of the games I drafted a uh, black red. To me the colors are really easy. I'm familiar with being aggro and with a lot of removal. So I drafted shock, uh, one red, instant. Shock deals two damage to target creature or player. The tools of invention become the weapons of revolution. Now, how many shocks could I draft? I drafted a whole play set of shocks and after I got four of them I said I have to force the red <laughs> Aether Poisoner one and a black creature human artificer death touch when Aether Poisoner enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Whenever Aether Poisoner attacks, you may pay two energy. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. 1-1. One, one. I had the mistake of just um, attacking with Aether Poisoner and not getting good trades. I think it's good to hold this guy back so that you get the good trade that you're looking for while blocking. Because no one wants to attack into you. If you have someone with death touch, even a 1-1 would be good. Night Market Aeronaut 3 and a black creature Aetherborn Warrior. Flying Revolt Night Market Aeronaut enters the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it. If a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn, death might come tomorrow, but today, today I am alive. Two, two. This card was okay. If you're if you can trigger the revolt, then it's not bad. Verdant Automaton. Two colorless. Artifact creature construct. Three and a green. Put a plus one plus one counter on Verdant Automaton. A perfect fusion of nature and artifice. Ursi Kujar Gardener. One, two. You're probably wondering why black red would play a artifact with green ability. I forced the colors really hard so I didn't have many playables. So I was forced to play an artifact with two colorless. Yeah. So maybe one lesson is try not to force the colors. If you just if you have better cards of other colors that you that you're not familiar with playing, 
try them anyways. Harsh scrutiny, one black, sorcery. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a creature card from it. That player discards that card. Scry one. If you've done nothing wrong, you have nothing to fear. Enforcer chief, Ranaj. This is a good card, but was unable to draw it in my games. Renegade, getaway, two and a black instant. Target permanent gains indestructible until end of turn. Create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. You can't fight what you can't find. Unfortunately, didn't get to draw this card either, but as an instant, I could see this being very good. Lawless Broker. Two and a black creature. Aetherborn Rogue. When Lawless Broker dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Kaladesh's Illicit Marketplaces are known as night markets, but if you know who to ask, you can find what you're looking for at any time of the day. 3-2. For a 3-2 body, I think this is pretty good. Cruel Finality, 2 and a black. Target creature gets minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. Scry one. Bitter the bite of a demon steel, and deep the abyss it opens. Any kind of removal is good in draft and limited. Thriving grubs one and a green of one in the red. Creature gremlins. When Thriving Grubs enters the battlefield, get two energy counters. Whenever Thriving Grub attacks, you may pay two. If you do, put a plus one plus one counters on it. Some passengers ride without tickets. Two, one. Playing this not because it's good, just I was missing so many playables in my deck. Defiant Salvager, two and a black creature, Aetherborn, Artificer. Sacrifice an artifact or creature. Put a plus one plus one counter on Defiant Salvager. Activate this ability only any time you could cast a sorcery. I didn't survive that crash just so I could fall to the likes of you. Two, two. Fretwork Colony, one in a black creature insect. Fretwork Colony can't block. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a plus one plus one counter on Fretwood Colony, and you lose one life. The swarm leaves behind a flawless pattern that only occasionally threatens the structural integrity of the wood. One. This was a good card, good aggro card to start. Sly Requisitioner, four and a black. Creature, human artificer. Improvise, which is a very good mechanic, but I didn't have many artifacts, so I couldn't make use of it well. Whenever a non-token artifact you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield. Create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. 2-2. Two, two. card like this would be very good to keep up with value of cards. But it was hard for me to get the mid-game 
and Salvager. Tukara, Scavenger, Five and a Black, Creature, Crocodile. When Tukara Scavenger enters the battlefield, you may put target artifact creature card from your graveyard on top of your library. The teeth marks add character 4, 6. So for a big body, I think I needed more of those creatures. Vengeful Rebel, 2 and a black creature, Aetherborn Warrior. When Vengeful Rebel enters the battlefield, if a permanent you control left the battlefield this turn, target creature an opponent controls gets minus 3, minus 3 until end of the turn. Some Aetherborn join the rebellion for profit, others for the sake of their freedom, still others for revenge. Weld Fast Monitor, 3 Colorless Artifact Creature Lizard. Weld Fast Monitor gains menace until end of turn. The Avant Guard among Gearbers Inventors disregard the Consulate's safety standards completely. 3 and that's how you learn. 